The pain and grief was etched on the faces of the widow of FDNY Lieutenant Christopher Raguso. The family, along with more than 100 members of the FDNY, watched as the purple bunting was hung on Ladder 113 Engine 249 Firehouse, where Raguso served as a firefighter for 11 years. Raguso and six others were killed in a helicopter crash in western Iraq after flying low to avoid detection when the rotors hit power lines. Raguso's father, a boat captain, remembered his 39-year-old son as always wanting to serve this city and this country. He was born to be a member of FDNY. Of this, there is no doubt. Lieutenant Raguso left for deployment in January and was supposed to return in May and promised his family this would be his last time. He leaves behind two little girls as well as his wife, who read briefly from scripture. Here I am. Send me that others may live. As we honor this American hero, um, let us remember his great service to our city and of course to our country. Three of the six others killed in that chopper crash were also from our area. FDNY Fire Marshal Christopher Zanettis, Staff Sergeant Deshaun Briggs, and Pilot Andreas O'Keefe, all part of an elite Air National Guard 106 rescue wing based out of West Hampton, trained to medevac wounded soldiers. But this was the day to remember Lieutenant Raguso of the FDNY. He was a big, gigantic teddy bear. Uh, he had the heart the uh, size of a lion, that the, the guy did anything for anybody, and uh, I wish we had done more for him.